I'm serious. Just just come with me back to my place. I just I just want to be with you. Me too. So live with me. Move in with me. Oh, Liam. Look, bring your stuff. Have your your little products all over my <laughs> over my bathroom. Oh, you make it sound so simple. It is. It is. I don't need an annulment. I need you. Oh, I think that's your soup. Okay. What? Did I order soup? I don't... You're asking me? Yeah. Oh! Um, uh, where's my appetizer? Oh, it looks like your sister's eating it. Oh. oh, I thought you were hungry. No, I didn't think I ordered this, actually. Well, you keep it. No. You know what? You have it. I'm fine. Okay. Come on. I'm actually not that hungry. Well, we'll share. It's etiquette. What? When two women are in conflict over a meal, or if you rearrange a few letters, a male. <laughs> Apparently, it's appropriate that the first woman who stakes her claim gives way when the other woman jumps in, while the first woman wasn't paying attention. Is that confusing? Yeah. In other words, Hope needs to back off. your son to a bowl of soup? Do we order wine for the table? Is that all you can say? Look, I would have been happy to uh, stay home, but since I didn't, I'd like a little wine with my dinner. Mm -hmm. Be surprised how much better you all look after that glass of scotch. I'm seeing a whole other side of you tonight, Ridge. And I'm seeing the same annoying side of you, Bill. A little less annoying tonight since I'm fighting your battles for you. <sighs> Battles? What battles? Bottles. Bottles. Oh. We're having bottles. Excuse me. We'll take that uh, pudding for me for the table, please. Right away, Mr. Forster. Come on, Ridge. You agree? You think that uh, Liam and Steffi are well matched. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks because Liam thinks otherwise. What I think is everybody needs to get off Steffi's case. She's given him his divorce. Why can't we just leave it at that? Because Duffy is managing to keep Hope and Liam from not getting married for another six months. Well, that's the state of California saying that, not Steffi. Exactly. If Steffi needs defending, I'll take care of it. I'd really rather not hear from you on the subject of my daughter. You know what I find interesting? The now or never position that our wives are taking. Why do they see it as such a uh, catastrophe? I have my theory. What's yours? Do you have any idea how beautiful you are? <laughs> I don't think you do. I mean, your eyes, your nose, your cheeks, the way you smile, come on, let me see it. <laughs> I would do anything for you. I want you to know that I trust you completely. Huh? Yeah. Then take my hand. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Come with me. I want to. Then do! Let's get out of here. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, hope's demand for premarital abstinence is the reason that you and your sister want Hope and Liam to get married ASAP. They're in love. They want to be together. And you think that if Liam is getting some at home, he'll be less likely to stray with she who will not be named. Oh, Bill, please, can you just let this go? You know, science has proven that men think about sex around 35 times an hour. <laughs> Want to back me up on that? Am I right? Did I order this second bottle of wine? I did, but you wanted to. You know what I think? I think it's unfair and unfortunate that Hope and Liam have to wait six months to be together. They don't have to wait six minutes to be together. Steffi isn't doing that, neither is the state of California. It's Hope's choice. They could be together tonight if they wanted to be. Nothing's stopping them. Hope's principles are very important to her. Right, and uh, people who have a fear of flying claim that they love to take the train. The bottom line is, what Hope and Liam have is puppy love. I can't be the only one who sees it. I think you're being incredibly patronizing. They've been through hell together. I'm not being patronizing, I'm being accurate. It takes some people longer to be ready for life than other people. And Hope is doing everything she can to avoid being in a full-fledged relationship for as long as she can. Liam, I want to come with you and start our life together. I mean, it is so exciting. We have our whole future ahead of us. But? But you know how I feel. You know that I've made a commitment to myself. Yeah, and I do love that about you. So you understand? You have a public persona. Mm -hmm. You have a private persona. And it's very important to you that they sync up. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we, we could sneak around behind closed doors and nobody would know, but... You'd know. Yeah. And I've got all these young women who are looking up to me right now. Hey, no, I trust me, I get that. I mean, I was there in your office with that essay conference. Yeah, and, and I don't mean to put that in front of you. No. You know, it's, it's not about you, it's, it's about me. You know, I've, I've grown up with all these deceptions and secrets, so you're right. If I compromise my values, I don't, I don't feel right about it. And even... I love you for exactly who you are. Excuse me. Can we have the check, please? Yes. And bring it to him. Ah! Oh, 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 goodness. Okay. Oh, no, oh my okay. gosh. No, so sorry. this is really so I, very embarrassing. I, <laughs> but I've got it. I okay, am so me, sorry, sweetie. It's all right. I'll just dab it up a little. Okay. <sighs> Uh, I'm gonna go uh, get Bernie. I'm okay. bring the car around. All right. Mm -hmm. Good to know. <laughs> Look, Katie, for future reference, do we have to do this again? Oh, well, I thought that, you know, all things considered, it went pretty well. Yeah, swimmingly. So no need for a repeat, right? No. Spoil sport. It's been an absolutely scintillating evening, but enough's enough. Mm. You sure gonna be okay? Yeah, fine, <laughs> really. Yes. Oh, look, here comes your hubby now. All right, car's outside, let's get... Uh, Ridge was just saying how much he wants to do this again soon. You don't think I'm old-fashioned? Oh, no, no, you're, you're totally old-fashioned. Oh. <laughs> Look, 
I just, I just don't want to make the full commitment of giving my body to the man I love until I'm married. You know, and it's not even about right and wrong. It's just what makes sense to me. And I know there are a lot of people, well, okay, most people who wouldn't get it. You know, they don't. I do. I get it. What you stand for, the impression that you give. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it's eating me alive a little bit. But you know what? I chose this. I am exactly where I want to be right now. Oh, Hi. Tori, we should have rang the bell. <laughs> Why? It's our house. <laughs> oh, it's, I was actually just uh, leaving. Oh, you were? No need to rush off. It is actually getting kind of late. Well, why don't you go upstairs and I'll be up there soon, okay? Would you like something to drink, Liam? Uh, oh, no, thank you. I was planning on calling it a night, too. We had the nicest dinner with your father tonight. Really? <laughs> nice? <laughs> uh. Well, yeah. I would say so. How was your <laughs> evening? Yours was good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ours was nice too. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. Okay. <sighs> Soon we'll be going to our home. It's my son. I see Hope's not with you. Nope. Of course, I didn't think she would be. Wow, look at that. You're not just a genius in the here and now. You're, you're a psychic. That's, that's amazing. Listen, I got to go to bed, and you got to go. What's so. the most important thing in a man's life? I don't know. Money? Power? Ah. Respect? The most important thing in a man's life. Now listen carefully. Is never to sleep alone. Women are forever telling us that we only want them for one thing. And it is every man's duty to never let them know It's the great leveler. The thing that makes cavemen of kings, and in the best case scenario, kings of cavemen. It is the one thing, the one thing, that puts us in touch with our primal instincts. It does do that, yeah. Oh, you bet it does. I knew you would know what I was talking about. And a day without it, it's a day that ain't worth living. Oh, oh, here we go. I know you think hope is worth waiting for. She is worth waiting for. So I don't need you looking out for my future. I can take care of myself, thank you. I am thinking about your present. And in your present, you are still married to Steffi, if I'm not mistaken. So, call her and tell her she wants to keep dragging her feet about ending your marriage, to get her ass over here and be a wife to you. Rich and Bill got along surprisingly well at dinner. No raised voices, no broken glasses <laughs> or plates. <laughs> Did you happen to see Steffi by any chance? We were there earlier and she was there with Rick. We all know that's not going anywhere. I I think she was trying to make Liam jealous. As if. Oh, I think she may have. 
I doubt it. Liam seems like a man who has everything that he wants. Uh, not everything. You know, he, he wants to start a life with me. Now. Is he pressuring you? No. No, not at all. Anything but. He's... He's so great. He just... He can't wait for me to move in and have, you know, all my hair products all over the bathroom. <laughs> well, see? It's just he doesn't want to wait. You know, he's forcing himself to for me. That's sweet. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Makes me love him and want him even more. Okay. What are you trying to say? Oh, well, you know that we, we want to be together. We want to share our love with each other, but we can't. And who's stopping you? Um, the courts? That's only about a marriage license. Isn't that the point? Is it? Or is the point that you love Liam and he loves you? He is so incredible. You know, he, he just listens to me. He doesn't push me. Honey, he adores you. Don't you know that? Now, what are you trying to tell me? Uh, I just think that you're mature enough to start your life with a man who adores you and somebody that you care deeply for. Okay, but what about my integrity? Circumstances change and that's life. You just have to adapt. No, no, Mom, that's your life, not mine. I have been through enough experiences to know that when you're feeling powerless, you need to stop what you're doing and take a step back and really take a good look at it. Obviously, there's something you're not seeing. You do have a choice. And if you and Liam love each other that much and want to start your life together, nobody should stand in your well, way. We, we talked about it. We did. We just talked about it tonight, and he understands why I want to wait. Well, he's your fiance. He's committed to you, but still. I Mom. Liam is not going to pressure me. He understands and he respects my decision because he respects me. <laughs>